we're going to be seeing either Peach or Joker. Yep, and it is Peach Zelda coming out. So Clubber Dam, you know, I I don't care about your seedings. I will use whatever character I please. And why not? It's been serving him thus well. Peach Zelda, Clubber Dam versus Jigea on PS2. And so far, within the first 15 seconds, it's been all Jigea. 83% unanswered. Peach Bomber just going to clash into the shield, but no matter. Still has yet to take any percent, and we could be seeing a zero to death if that turnip connects. Makes it back to stage safely around this maze of turnips that the gay is throwing out. Rapid jab. And another turnip takes him up to 138%. Just going for that back air until he wants the kill. There we go, that first percent taken for Clubber Dan, but that's not much solace when he's going to be eating that fair. And the Peach Bomber will secure it as well. Only 10% of where to show for it. That up tilt and that up air will be proving a lot more useful than what he's been throwing out thus far. Good low percent combo from, uh, from Jigea. And now, Clubber Dan just not backing off as we're refusing to get ledge trapped. Forward air, or forward smash, rather, in Clubber Dan. Might have secured the stock, wasn't quite at the ledge, but that is potent. I just see Jigea floating at the staging edge, and that back air. Sweet spot for Clubber Dan, enough to secure the stock from across the stage. At only around 110%, so that move, of course, retained its power from the previous patch. And with some of Zelda's limited kill options, certainly a lot to go for. The back air coming out from Jigea. Three back airs to Clover Dan shield all in a row. Not quite sure what he was hoping to accomplish, but no matter that Peach Bomber putting on 14%, almost taking almost taking him all the way, but no matter the death attack closes out the stock. Clubber Dan, only one more to play with. Did sweet spot the back air, but unfortunately straight into Jigea's shield, so he does reduce the shield, but good 66% from Jigea. How will Clubber Dan respond? Pulls out the Dark Knot. Down throw into that back of the air. No, that won't kill. That dash attack, this time from Clubber Dan. Will do it. The fair, an excellent return option. Just rids himself of that responsibility. Good spot dodge. And that up special, interestingly, as a neutral option, and it looks like it just caught Jigea off guard. How will he float back to stage? He will. Just dips in and out. Clubber Dan, I don't care if you return, that gets him right off stage. Good snipe. Before it's before it's an impossibility, you know, he is back. He is willing to make this comeback, but he'll have to deal with this barrage of turnips first. Gets him with a fair through the half-finished Dark Nut as well. Good from Jigea for just not bowing to the pressure and saying, I don't care what you're throwing out. You know, if you want to throw out that explosion in neutral, I will use that end lag against you. Game two, uh, I'm not sure the stage was the option was the uh, mistake, rather. Because as well as Jagea did, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't Clubber Dan just getting platform trapped that led to his demise there. But nevertheless, 
the same characters Three, and a two, different stage one, this time. It looks go. like we're going to be going to Snapville. Uh, this is a much better start for Clubber Dan, just going in with the Dark Nuts, covering his approaches, approaching the Nair, dash attack if he's willing. Judea floating backwards once again. Down throw and back air. Although that half finished Dark Nut, you know, showing that you don't need the full charge to have it as a powerful neutral tool doesn't get quite get him off stage, but already a much better start from Clubber Dan, although that's not encouraging. That down throw back air combo. And the Peach Bomber, not quite. Once again, just floating backwards. Forward throw with a grab, and he pulls the bomb. You can tell Clubber Dan does not want any part of this throwing out that reflector. It's about to explode, and it does. Right as Clubber Dan was about to get up. Quite unfortunate. Only 70% gone from Jigea. Down throw from Clubber Dan. Short hop back there. I'm interested to see how he uses that as a neutral tool because, of course, back air from Zelda is very good as a kill option, especially if sweet spotted, but when you have, you know, dash attack and some of these specials to throw out as well, didn't quite, uh, just within range of his recovery, that down tilt would not be the start of the combo. Back throw from Clubber Dan won't kill. Just gonna float in that back air. And I said that kill option was on deck quite a second ago. It's as if he heard me. Back air. From Jigea. Still has 100% of damage in the green. Dash attack just gonna be straight into the shield, but no matter, gets him off stage. Get that option right afterwards. Gets it back. Turnip gets him right back into that same position. And you saw Jigea, it was if he was mulling over going for the ledge trump first, it's no matter as he managed to call that get up option too, but interesting, we haven't seen that Jigea as he used that back air and that up special from Clubber Dan. Talking about moves with kill potential, that one has it in spades. And that forward smash, even more. Don't have to be at the ledge at 100%, you are going to be gone, especially with Peach's lightweight status. 0% on either character is the last stock commences. Nair into the shield as the shield so there's a forward smash from Dan. Good spot dodge. Oh wait, it's as if he knew the grab was just going to come out on top of the platform. He's been falling victim to that too many times throughout this set so far and he just saw it coming. Peach Bomber. Good mix up. The tilt and that Nair, it looks like something hit him. Fully charged Dark Knight. Entirely shutting off the left half of the stage, but Jigea coming right back and saying, you don't have that anymore, although he does now. And the back air from Dan, interesting. He was almost at a full stock deficit, but he managed to make the comeback with, you know, some brave forward smashes for sure, but to his credit, they connected, and the back air, you know, saving it for when he really needed it. Game three between the two of them. If I'm Jigea, you know, town and city, it, again, the stage isn't the problem here. I got caught out. I got caught. I got careless. And he hit me with a potentially potent kill option. There's not too much in the game plan nor the floor plan that needs to change here. If Jigea wants to pull it off. But Clubber Dan, of course, can take the stock and the set. And doing exactly what he was doing. Can't take it from falling victim to a 35% combo from Dan. He's up tilts, bringing him to mid percents rapidly. 
Reflector coming back on stage and falling down. There's Dan. Spot dodge, down smash. You know, that's an excellent option for any character, Peach included. Another sweet spot there, just into the shield. There, just out of range for Jagea, but the Peach Bomber will send him right back to where he came from. Back air will send Club to the other ledge this time. Fair as an approach option. Good spot dodge around the dark net, although he just doesn't have that. Didn't have the shield prepared for all of that. Fair. Don't need any preparation for that. But back air on Clubber Dan before any percent is added on. No extra credit this time. Showing that, you know, Zelda can close out stocks with this back air. If you're going to let him land it, he will do it. Down throw, it looks like back air that's been his bread and butter throughout the set so far. Up tilt and up smash from Clubber Dan. Still about 40% down, but more than manageable, especially with nerves like that. Dash attack coming out just goes too far with that projectile. Dark Knight gonna cover center stage once again. Spot dodge is away facing backwards though, so it doesn't get a punish. For uh forward smash right into the shield, but the back air very quick just eye roars that. And that is why that option can be so deadly if you aren't prepared to Gaia. In a bit of trouble now. I believe he is the higher seed, so this would technically be an upset as well. Clubber Dan ready to cover it with the dash attack and some of these two framing options. Oh, good option! Just goes for the up special to get him to release the shield right in time for that Dark Nut to do its work. And do its work it did. How is he gonna float back down? He won't! Clubber Dan with two stocks. So remain. He just walks off. He knew he could have done a lot better there. That up be such commitment, it kills, but you do need to land most, if not all, hits from it in certainly most, if not all, situations. And if you don't, an up air punish will be on the way. He was floating so high as well, and of course, Town and City.